Hi, welcome to Crossfader. I'm DJ Holland, and this is App Academy. Right, so first things first, we're going to want to open the app. Once opened, we're greeted by this top area here. Now this is our dashboard. Don't worry if your dashboard looks slightly different to ours. Uh, some of these options are only available in the pro subscription, but everyone will have access to the classic mode on the far left. That's what we're gonna take a look at first. So now we're in the classic view. Here we're greeted by two virtual turntables. And as you can see in top corners, two big blue flashing icons. This is where we load our songs. So we're gonna to want to click on either of these, they're both the exact same. And instantly it's asking us if we want to log into Spotify. Now, if you have a premium Spotify subscription, you can log in here and there we go. Once you're logged into Spotify, you are greeted by your own personal playlist. This might be something you've set up on you know, your phone, within Spotify, or maybe on the web player, but this is where your playlist will show. Uh, at the bottom here, we have the browse section. This is where you can go through the top 100 uh, charts. You can go through uh, the genres and moods. These are all the playlists that have been set up by Spotify themselves. A really nice area you want to look at is DJ genres. In here, there's a load of genres um, which will cover most DJs needs. And this again, this is set up by Spotify. It's really nice to look at. Uh, just be careful, a lot of the tracks in there are radio edits and not what we call extended mixes, which can make it a little bit more difficult to DJ with. Down at the bottom, the two disc icons. You click on that, oh, lost it. You click on that. This in here, is match. Uh, we don't have it on at the moment uh, because we haven't got a track playing, but when you've got a track playing in one deck and you go into match on the other deck, it will suggest songs which will tie in nicely um, you know, to what you're playing. Again, it's not something we need at the moment. And finally, we've got queue where you can queue songs up, create, you know, get a bit ahead of yourself um, to master your set. Again, nothing we're really gonna be looking at today. If you don't want to use Spotify, this top left hand corner, we have the option for videos, of course for video DJing, my library and music. Music is anything stored within the device itself. So we've got um, the Crossfader music pack in here, which we've moved across on this iPad from iTunes. Um, if you'd like to download the Crossfader music pack, we'll link it in the description below. It's free for everyone to use. And you know some great tracks in there for you to play along with. My library at the top is where you can create playlists within the DJ app, and also you'll find your history. Um, this is where you create your playlists here if you wanted to create a new playlist or a smart playlist or folder. Again, we're not going to look at that today. Uh, and your history. Your history is just down here. This is great in case you ever had a really good set and you want to take a look back at that set, look at what you did in the moment. You can even edit them here and delete them out if you had a bad set, whatever. It's really cool. But what we're gonna do for this very first lesson, our first mix, is we're gonna head back to Spotify and we're gonna use the Crossfader App Academy. Uh, again, check out the description below if you'd like to play along with us. And we're gonna just select the top two tracks here. Now we've loaded two songs in. This is, um, you know, your virtual turntables. They do actually work like turntables in a very kind of gimmicky way. You can uh, turn them on with the motor start stop switch. You can turn them off for a vinyl break effect. You can spin back on them. You can spin forward. You can even use the needle drop. It's very, very cool, but a little gimmicky, but it's cool. What we wanna be doing, first of all, before we start anything on this mix, we want to be placing down a cue point. What a cue point is, it gives you a little marker in the track that you can go back to at any point. Um, you'll find most DJs are putting cue points on the very first beat of a track. So what we'll be doing is looking for the downbeat. There it is. You'll notice as you touch the virtual platter, the waveform goes from an overview to a zoomed in look. So we want to be bringing the, um, I'm gonna use my overhand so you can see here. You want to get to the beginning of the first beat, 
and then press set. Once that's set, you can use this Q button here to instantly trigger that Q. We want to do the same for this second track. So again, find, so what happens if you don't set the Q point, by the way, is, actually that's actually, that one's done it. But sometimes if you say, for example, some tr tracks will set the, the initial Q point before the first beat. So then you've got like a delay. That's what we're trying to get rid of. So we'll just drag it to the beginning here, set. Perfect. Now we're set up our cue points. Another thing to look at here, we've got the crossfader. Down this bottom section here, if we bring this all the way across to the left hand side, you will only hear the output from this deck. So nothing's happening here, but you can hear this one. All the way to the right hand side, you can hear this one, you can't hear this one. In the middle, you can hear both. So what we want to be doing for our first ever mix, this is going to be really simple. So a lot of viewers will be watching this and going, you know, that is the basics, but that's what we're looking at here. We don't want to be getting too complicated. We're going to set this track off and we would imagine you play the track all the way through. For the sake of this demo, we're just going to skip through the track. Now you can't hear this song here. That's perfect. What we want to be doing is hitting play and you'll hear when we bring it to the middle, it sounds terrible. Yep, you hear that, awful. That is what we call clashing. The beats aren't in time, the tracks are running at different speeds, and that's where most DJs will hear that for the first time and just go, this is terrible, I can't do this. It sounds horrible. What we're gonna do is just teach you a very, very quick way of making that mix sound better. So we'll go back to the beginning, and we'll continue playing this. These tracks are running at different speeds. However, if we hit sync there, now, when we bring the crossroad across, that's in the middle, it's both tracks playing. And just like that, this track's now out. We can do whatever we want with that track. We can stop it, load in a second track, and repeat the whole process again. That's your first mix done within DJ App. It's as simple as that. In our second lesson, we're gonna be looking how to perform this without using sync, as most DJs will claim that it is a bit of a cheat, but for your first ever mix, just to get you off the ground, that's how you do it. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Catch you in the next one.